Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sanctuary of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church in Clarksville, Maryland. I'm Gail Annis Porter. I'm the pastor here. Standing in the sanctuary, and this is our uh, altar setting for Lent. And it's a beach scene, uh, kind of, as you can see. And what we're really thinking about is the sea glass. Uh, broken vessels that when shaped by the water and the sand and the movement and all of that become something that's beautiful. And that's what we're thinking about this year during Lent. And so I was thinking that uh, one of the themes of Lent is self-reflection. That's one of the things we're asked to do is to look at ourselves and see if there are any changes that need to be made uh, during this season of um, repentance and renewal and coming closer to God. One of the things that we often do is to look at our shortcomings as we do this self-reflection. This year, I want to ask you if you will, as you are looking at yourself, look at the things that are good about you as well. Because there are some really powerfully wonderful good things about each and every one of you. God has made you special and unique and beautiful. God has fashioned you through the, the tumbling of the water and the sand and the, all the turmoil in your life into something that is beautiful and precious and useful. There's a scripture that means a lot to me, and I don't have a Bible with me today because I don't need to. I have this memorized. It's from Ephesians chapter 2, and it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. It is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. So all the good and wonderful things about you, you can't earn any of that. The grace of God is not something that you can earn either by doing a lot of good things, but yet it is given to you as a gift. And so this Lent, as you reflect about your life and yourself and who you are, I'd invite you to extend some grace, to extend some grace to yourself. During this time, a lot of us have thought, gosh, I'm gonna get a lot done. I'm, I'm having to be home and my house is gonna be so organized and, and everything's gonna be orderly and wonderful in my family. And well, I don't know about you, but our cars are still parked down on the parking pad instead, instead of in the garage because we haven't gotten the garage cleaned out and lots of other projects that haven't gotten done, but it's okay because we're all doing hard things. We're doing things differently than we ever did before. We're doing things we don't know how to do. So I'd invite you to extend to yourself some grace and then extends that grace to someone else because that's what God has done for you. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. It is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God. And that's really all you need. Amen.